One of the greatest quotes ever was by a fellow Texan, Zig Ziglar. He said this, Your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. I love that quote. It's just genius. Proverbs 4, verse 25. Keep your eyes focused on what is right and look straight ahead to what is good. Gee, that is everything boiled down to one sentence. To absolutely keep your eyes focused, not on the appearance of what you see around you or on problems, but instead to look straight ahead beyond that to what is good, what is coming, to what is promised to you by God. In the light of the many wonderful promises in the Bible, we have many reasons to rejoice. God is God in your life today. And Don has broken on another day of life. That alone is reason to rejoice. And yet, sometimes, we find the burdens of life seem way too heavy. And you may find yourself, because of this, feeling exhausted at times, discouraged at other times, or both at the same time. That's when you need a breath of fresh supply of God vision. And when you have that fresh breath of God vision, you have new life breathing into you and taking over. Because God is ready, and God is willing, and God is able to supply you with new vision. The advice in Proverbs is clear-cut. It says, focus on what is good. In other words, strive to maintain a positive, can-do attitude. As you face the challenges of the coming day, use God's Word as a tool for directing your thoughts. Thoughts are pivotal. They can go either way, towards a problem or towards God. Make sure that they go towards God and you'll find that those problems have no power over you or a much less degree of force over you. Your attitude will be pleasing to God and pleasing to your friends and pleasing to yourself. And that is reason to rejoice in the day. I pray with you today that you have that kind of attitude, that you have a power in God that cannot be stopped by circumstance, by appearance, that you have faith that knows that with God all things are going to be working out to ultimate good, and therefore you have a power and a strength inside of you. And I pray that it grows today, that it becomes magnificent in you, that it changes you at depth, not just in this moment, but in all moments to come. God bless you. Amen.